Hey folks, I'm back again. Roman is back again for another video for you guys. This is RA Outdoors. Um, I want to tie this jig for you guys. It's really easy, simple. Uh, anybody can tie this. And I really appreciate all your support, all your likes. Um, and my bias here, this is Mustang size 4. Uh, this is 116. This is Texas Minnow Head. If you can see, it's red black and purple with uh, black and yellow color here eyes uh, pretty good uh, minnow head here so let's go let's go start guys um, let's put some uh, a little bit of glue into the hook shank before I start my thread I want to use a mano in this case uh, it's like a white clear color this mano here so when I go back to the hook point and then come back and then cut this off. Now I want to use two materials here. First material I want to use. This is going to be a fox hair here. Okay, first material. Second material I want to use the uh, gray natural color. A score tail here. Okay, so I want to use two materials here for the tail so first material I want to use the fox um, hair here so I got a piece already to tie them up so I'm just gonna take a mayor and cut this off here by my trash can and then put it right there in the top of the hook shank and then make a couple wraps secure that really good in the same way, go back to the hook point. I want to stop right there. Okay, so right there is the fox tail there. So I want to push this material down a little bit to be around the hook shank. Okay, that should be good. And then I want to tie that really, really good here to secure all the hair. Okay. All right, the foxtail is there. Now I want to use the score tail. If you notice this material, here, it's got white, black, and a little bit brown. So that's why I choose to put this material down because the white hair. Okay, so I want to be the same size like this one here. Let me cut this off here. And then just put it right there and top of the hook shank right there and then tie this really good tie them up all the way all the way to the hook point here and then go back to the hook point uh, for me i think um, i don't use that uh, hairs i don't use this material a lot but i'm pretty sure catch crappy because I hear some of my friends that lives in Texas say that it's been crushing the crappies with this material here. So I wanted to try this, bring this material here. Okay, so I had a fox tail and the squirrel tail there, the hair. Now I choose to use this new material here. This is a crystal flash here. This is orange because you want to match a little bit um, the fox tail there. So I got a three pieces here, okay? And I want to put it right there on top of the hook shank, but I want this flashing to be in the bottom of the jig. I, I really don't want this to be in the side. I want that to be in the bottom there. Tie them up. And then go back to the hook point and then come back again behind the head. You see, I had the flash in there. Now I want to grab all the flashing and cut it like a little bit in an angle. You see this? So cut it. So that's going to do. So it's going to keep that jig a couple pieces short and a couple pieces long. You see that? This piece a little bit longer here. There you go. You see that? Oh, yeah. So that's good to go. Now, 
I want to put glue into the body there, guys. By the way, this is my own color. I choose my own colors. As far as I know, uh, good combination there. I mix my own colors there. I think it looks pretty good. Black, red, and purple. Like pink, purple color. Okay. Now, I want for the body, I want to use this... Uh, I just bought this material, I don't know when, but just bought it. You remember that when I bought. This is a red chenille here, a strong red. Um, bought a couple months ago and I never tried this, so I wanted to give it a shot. And this is the chenille there. So I got a piece here and I want to put this on top of the hook shank here, make a nice tight wraps. Just leave you thread there, okay? And I want to use my rotize vise here. Now what I'm doing is going back to the hook point and then come back to the head. Okay, go back to the head. You see that? I'm going to make another wrap, make him one more wrap. And that should be the end. Tie that up, cross this over. Two wraps, cross this over again, and two wraps. Just be carefully, move your thread away, cut this off. We'll clean the head a little bit, and that should be enough. It looks pretty good to me. All right, so I want to take my wet finish here, guys, and finish this guy here. One, two three four five that should be plenty enough tie that up really good take this off and that's it look at this guy here guys looks pretty cool to me let's put some uh hard snails to the neck there just rotate your vise and that's it guys Came pretty good. I really like that guy, man. Check that out. It matches that chenille there with the red hair, black, and a little bit purple, pink color in the head and top of that. Matches two colors. There's the orange fox tail and the scroll white and black brown. Uh, so I want to take this out of my bias. I'm going to put it really close to the camera here. You guys can see that better. Check that out, guys. Not bad at all. I think it came in pretty, pretty sexy color there. This is my own colors, guys. I don't copy nobody's colors there. I make my own mixed colors there. So I think it came in really good. I really like it because you see the white hair in the bottom there. And yeah. I like that. It's really sharp. It's really neat color too. So yes. Hey, thank you so much, guys, for all the support. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel to support my channel. Uh, uh, thank you for all the new subscribers. Make a comment. Um, I want you. I want you guys to care that I care that I come with three videos a week, two videos a week. I'm working so hard to do this, and not it's not easy. But anyway, I'm not complaining at all. So make you sure you like the video. It helps me. So if you guys like the video, that means that you care like I care to put in more videos for you guys. So I think appreciate a like and uh, thank you so much for watching. And I see you next time.